What is up, YouTube? We are back once again, man. Two grown men, seven eight seven nine, the dynamic duo that you know. We back in the building, man. Get it. So we're gonna try something a little different today, man. I know usually we do a lot of gaming, we do a lot of reactions on this channel. We're gonna do something a little a little different today and talk about something that is near and dear to our hearts. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> Hip-hop. Hip-hop. You hip -hop. know what I mean? We're going to talk about some yeah. hip-hop. If you, if you look at it, I mean, the whole, you know, two grown men, seven, eight, seven, nine. Obviously, that's our birth years. And I think from that period to now, mm -hmm. like, we've we've experienced, like, the best Man. and the worst right. of hip-hop. Absolutely. You know what I mean? In its entirety. You know what I mean? Like, was at the age where we could still listen to the older artists to where they were still doing stuff to going with the currents to the new cats. Yep. So it's like we got a great grasp of just everything. Hip hop as a whole. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Um, our man T.I., you know what I mean, who was well respected in the game. Well respected. Well respected, you know, decided to come out with his top 50 list and uh, it was posted yesterday. Yeah, so, at the so, time of this video, it was posted yesterday. So, Let's 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 do a little bit of backtracking, right? So, my take on our take actually, yeah. our take on you know people and their top fifty lists, um, it's subjective. You know what I mean? It's Always. not going to be something that's you know across the board what everybody should be thinking. Yeah. It's subjective. It's all about your upbringing, your influences, stuff like that. So, right. you know, there's Definitely. that. I just throw that out there. Yeah, you yeah. Your mother said you lead with love. <laughs> All right, yeah, it's your overall taste and everything. And I mean, this was put out on his podcast uh, expeditiously, mm -hmm. which is dope. You know, what I mean, I love it. And I think it was, I think now it was, it was like a collective decision okay. on how they came up with the list. Um, but it was like based off of like impact in the game. They're like, you know, they're not just t just talking about lyricists. You know, what I mean, like it's not just about lyrics. It's not just about record sales and. And all that stuff, you know what I mean? As a as a collective, you know what I mean? And it's like, and I get it. But but <laughs> it's a but but you know what I mean? I have a I have a couple problems. We have a couple with of issues. This list. We have a couple of grievances list. with uh, Mr. TIP's list. Yeah. So we just going to dive right Let's into just it. Just get right man. into it, man. If we look at first it, off, we're gonna throw the list up. So you gonna see the list up. Right yeah, now. right there, right. And if you look at it, I'll say, all right, the top three on this list that's Gimmies. arguable you know what i mean like that's that's on everybody i don't think anybody can argue that right. period those right. three are going to be somewhere in there right you know what i mean absolutely number four you got snoop i can see ti saying that snoop is number four and i love snoop dog love snoop. i still think doggy style is one of the very i could probably count on my hands how many albums I can listen to, hip hop albums that I can listen to start, start to, finish, to finish and be totally satisfied and love every track. Right. And like Doggy Style is like that track for me. For yeah, there's, there's. I can listen to that from start to finish. There are still tracks on there that I listen to in my mind. Yeah. Like I'll just pull up yeah. a verse off of one of those Dude, songs to this day. They're legendary, they're timeless. You know what I'm saying? But do I think that Snoop Dogg can rap on the lines of a Jay-Z or a Biggie? Like, as far as rapping. Now, he said it's not just lyricism and all that stuff. But to me, lyrics is the most impressive thing to me when it comes to hip-hop. That's why I like hip-hop. Right. You know what I mean? Because I love lyrics. That's, that's the number one for me. I don't care how dope the beat is. You know what I mean? Your influence and all that. Like, if you can't rap, I don't want to listen to you. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Snoop Dogg can rap, but can he rap on the same lines of a Biggie and Jay-Z? No. No. No, he can't? <laughs> no, he can't. Right? He cannot. He's not as uh, technical as those guys are. Right. But I put him up there. Like, I would put him close. Like, he would be definitely top seven for me. Snoop would be top seven. And I'm going to say why. Because his freestyle game is out of this world. Like, Snoop's freestyle game is out of this world. Like, if you could freestyle a whole track, you already know how I feel about that. If you could freestyle right. a whole track, and when I when it hits my ears, it sounds like you wrote it. Like, yeah. I'm in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the song off of, I don't know if you remember, but the song off of Doggy Style, the Shiznit, that was a freestyle. 
Oh, they was clowning like they he oh, yeah. freestyled that whole track yeah. and i still like i'll yeah. rap those lyrics because the lyrics was so yeah. dope but it was a yeah. straight freestyle you know what yeah. i mean so I, I i put him up there yeah. because of that he can yeah. rap you know what i'm saying the man can rap he can he's rap. just not technical like right a biggie or jay right so if you look at this overall what's the the biggest thing that stands out to the you biggest yeah dude like, there's a lot of uh <laughs> Like, There's a lot of things. I mean, Buster Rhymes is at 26. That's sacrilegious. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know Tip is talking about everything, but like, do you? No one can convince me that there's 25 people nah. that can rap better, rap than, better Buster than Buster Rhymes, Rhymes. especially not E40. I and know Too Short is with, a legend. I know Too Short is yeah, a legend. Yeah, Too Short is definitely He's a legend. He's a legendary. E-40 is a legend. Bay Area cat. He's a Bay Area You know legend. what I'm saying? But, like, you tell me, you know what I'm saying, that Too Short and E-40 be like, yo, there's a battle going on. We want y'all to come out. You know what I mean? Like, Buster Rhymes is on the other side. Are they showing up? No. No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're going to no. do, you're gonna do a, a, a concert. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going... You know what I'm saying? You're gonna uh, Buster Rhymes is gonna open for you. Buster Rhymes is gonna come out, <laughs> and then you're gonna come out after. He's him. gonna do his break your neck shit. And you know what I'm saying? And you're gonna follow Buster Rhymes. And his Gibby Simone. You know what and I'm saying? <laughs> Another thing. Nah. God bless the dead. Pimp C. Nah. Can he better than rap Buster Rhymes? Pimp C is better than Buster Rhymes on this list. You know what I mean? You said it's not just lyrics, but you have to include it. You have to. And I, that's just my biggest thing. <laughs> Looking at this list, I'm like, okay, you know, he's talking about his personal or their personal influences, how they feel that these guys impacted the game and stuff. But he can't tell me. I don't care where you live at. You yeah. can't tell me that <laughs> through your entire life or your entire experience with hip hop that you heard Pimp C on the radio more than you heard Busta Rhymes. And yeah. I lived in Texas for 10 years. Yeah, yeah. I lived in Texas for 10 years. Yeah. I cannot sit up here and lie to you and say that Pimp C had more tracks on the radio yeah. than Buster Rhymes did. I can't do it. I mean, I've, I don't... No I can, disrespect. I, can, I, can, I like Pimp I C. I can probably recite one Pimp C verse, two. Big Pimp? Yeah, two. Yeah. <laughs> one B is a totally different story. And let's get to that. He's at thirty, <laughs> and he's at thirty-nine. You can't tell. You can't get me a soul on this earth, man, <laughs> including Pimp C himself, who will tell you that Pimp C raps better, or is a better rap, or a better rapper, or a more influential rapper than Bun B is. That's crazy. Are you serious? Yes, that's crazy. Bun B can spit. Yeah, he's. 39. That's ridiculous, man. What's, what's going on? Master P is at 28. He's that much, he's that close to Buster Rhymes. Make him say, uh. His business survive and everything. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Unquestionable. The game. If it, Unquestionable. If it wasn't for Master P, it'd probably be a lot of people that wouldn't even. But you can't been tell me this on. man is a better rapper than <laughs> Ghostface, Raekwon, Redman, Twister. Nipsey Hustle, Fab, Fab, J. Cole, Ludacris, Fab, Big J. Cole, Pun. Big Hun, The Punisher himself. He's underneath. I gave feature. you fair warning. Beware. You're telling me Master P is above this man? Yeah. Is. I don't. I don't see it. I don't see it at all. Yeah. I don't see it at all. But let's yeah. let's let's let's. Let's backtrack. <laughs> yeah. Let's backtrack. Nas um, at number eight. Nas is at, I was just about to go. <laughs> yo, yo. Nas is number eight. Nas is number eight, guys. Below Kanye. Kanye West. I got a problem with him being five. I got a huge problem with him being five. It's just, I don't, um, dude. You're not, listen, you're not supposed to be on this list. Let me, let me, let me clarify something. You are 50, not even supposed to 50? be on this list. At 50? You're not supposed to be on this list. Okay. If you do not write <laughs> all of your own material. Ah. 
So is Drake disqualified? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. No collaborative rappers on this on this list. You're not supposed to be here. Yeah. You're not supposed to be here. That's something that's that's just one of those unwritten rules. If you ask Andre 3000 if he thought that <laughs> Kanye yeah. or Drake was better than him, I or think a if more you ask influential Kanye, rapper, I think if you ask Kanye, yeah, if you, you ask better, Drake if yeah. he thought that as far three, as all of stacks. rap and all yeah. of rap that he was a be- a better rapper than Andre 3000, he would laugh at you. You think so? Yes. He would probably say he number one. He gonna say he number one today. He's gonna say he's number one right now. But he, yeah. I don't believe that he would actually ever like really say it unless it's in a rap. Like he'll say it in a rap. Everybody say yeah. whatever in a rap. Yeah. But like if you sat down and had a real conversation with this man and asked him if he thought that he was better than Andre 3000, he'd be like, woo. Yeah. He would make that face, bro. He'd be I like, woo, no. Yeah, no, it's different not three stuff. Stacks. Like really looking at it, the stuff, I'm just like. Gucci man doesn't even belong on this list. Doesn't belong on this list at all. Gucci is above Louis. Future does Big not fun. belong on this list. He just don't. Wow. So, um, Nelly is right behind J Cole. And I like I didn't Nelly. Even notice that. And I like Nelly. I like Nelly. But I would like you Nelly. say that he's right behind J Cole? No. Jermaine Cole. <laughs> nah. Nah. I Young Simba. Yeah, nah. No. No. It's just, man. You know what's crazy? Like, I saw a video where Eminem was saying his influences. You know what I mean? And he was like, some of his biggest influences, who he wanted to to be like, and who he heard and made him put his pen down and was like, I'm not good enough. Wow. You know what I mean? Was Tretch. He's not on the list. And Redman. Who's Red man's 46. on there. He's at 46. He's at 46. Yeah, so just the placement of it and everything. Not not only the placement, but who's included. I want everybody to stop right now. And I don't, I don't mean no disrespect. I'm just being real. Look at 49. Yes. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Not in my top 300. <laughs> <laughs> He's not my top 300. 300. And this man put him in his top. He put him in his top 50. Yeah. Uncle Luke. This is not. It's not even rap. Nah. It's not rap. It was like I don't even know what you call that. I'm gonna That's be straight up rap. real. Luke was like, let's look at the album covers. <laughs> That's what that was. <laughs> like, let's look at the album. Let's which, go with which, the story. Listen, and which, look at the album covers. Which has its place. Yeah. It has its place. Yeah. But it doesn't belong here. You can't tell me somebody who makes nothing but booty shaking music belongs yeah. on this list. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, I don't tough. understand it. I don't it's understand tough. it. You can't it's tell me Kanye is better than DMX. Yeah. He's better you can't than tell Wayne. me Kanye is better than Lil Wayne. He's better than Eminem and Nas. He's more influential and all of that overall just man. Yeah. He hurt my boy Method. Yeah, Method Man, yo. <laughs> yo, so many people like like Method Man don't get nowhere near the amount of respect, in my opinion, mm-hmm. that he deserves. And one thing I did not realize, number three on this list, Biggie. Right? Ready Biggie's to Die. Third. Ready to Die is a legendary album. Yeah. And J. Cole is heralded as being so dope because on his albums, he, he it's all him. Like there's no feature no or whatever. Features. Yep. You can't tell me that when Big came out that there wasn't everybody wanted to get down and be on his album. Absolutely. Everybody. Because they knew they were gonna get hurt. Everybody. Well, there was one one person, one person on the whole Ready to Die album that had a feature on that album. And it's Method, Method Man. Man. Yep. He's the <laughs> yep. only one that has been on there. That, that has been fact. on there. You know what I'm saying? Like, and when we're talking about Buster Rhymes being at number 26, it was just, just uh, that, that hurts. The most that, versatile rapper ever. That that hurts. You know what I'm saying? Like, he had a track. You know what I mean? He he was featured on the Method Man album, the What's Happening song. Like, they went berserk. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's, it's awesome. Bro, how, let he me, don't let get me nowhere ask, near it. I'm gonna jump back to Nelly. How many? How many albums that were like out there, like that was like they were big, 
that Nelly had. How many? How many albums would you say? One. I'll give him two. No. Three. I'll say I'll, I'll say three. Three. I'll give him. I'll give him three and a collab album. I'll give him three and a collab album. Right. How many albums has Ludacris had that went nuts? Uh, all of them. Bro, he's Damn, behind yeah. Nelly. Yeah. Yeah. And if you ask me, Ludacris is on par with Busta Rhymes. I was telling you this earlier. Busta Rhymes is one of them cats that no matter what the beat is, no matter what you threw at him, he would be able to spit on it. Yeah, his cadence. You know what I mean? Just... And I feel like he could, yeah, his, he was so versatile. He could yeah. spit fast. He could spit slow. Like, he, yeah. whatever the song called for, he was able to do it. Ludacris was right that way. Yo, and then the the number one thing, well, well, for me, when it comes to hip hop and stuff, and in this day and age of just streaming and downloads and stuff, I'm like, if I really, really appreciate it, I'm like, I'm going to buy it. You know what I mean? And for right. the longest time, like, I, you know what I mean? I hadn't bought any albums. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I bought, I, man, I feel like the last hip hop albums that I purchased a CD for, you know what I mean? That I actually purchased for was Release Therapy. Oh, you know what I mean? Man. Ludacris. I bought Theater of the Mind. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which was was absolutely crazy. And another thing, T.I., Lupe Fiasco was not there. Not even on this list. Oh. Not even on this list. At all. If you don't know who Lupe Fiasco is, please do your homework. You not gotta know who Lupe at all. Fiasco well, is. Well, of course he knows he is. And he knows who Eminem is, so he knows who Royce the Five Nine is. He's not there at all. You know what I mean? Like, it's just... And and Royce wrote stuff for a lot of people. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of people. So he's definitely influenced. And, and it's a lot of these cats who they fear that dude. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? You, you put... He put rappers, right, on the list, and then put all their favorite rappers behind him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, because you got the rappers here, yeah. and then your rappers' favorite rappers <laughs> are, are, like, make up the rest of the list. Like, I don't get it. If you had a track that Ghostface was on, and it was Ghostface and Cameron, who do you think is going to stand out on that track? Face. Yeah, yeah, like you can't even think about yeah, it. Yeah, Ghostface. You don't even think about it. You don't even think about it. And I like Cam. Yeah. But I know, I know fake Ghostface is going to hit you with some stuff you have to rewind. Yeah, you got to rewind and then read and research and be like, what did he say? Listen, man, what's the name? Uh, my boy Joel Ortiz said it, said oh, it best, man. <laughs> he's not there. He's not there. He said it best. He said, nowadays the rewind button got mad dust on it. <laughs> like ain't nobody rewinding crazy, no more. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody bringing nothing back so they can hear it again. It's you crazy. Know what I mean? It's crazy. Then the whole Fab and Nicki Minaj thing. That's crazy. So it's like okay, if, if we're looking at it like Fab Forty One and Nicki Forty Two, and then somebody said, Nah, switch that up. You know what I mean? Nicki Minaj. Now, if you're talking about her impact and influence on female rappers and stuff, like, oh, okay, it's cool, but same thing. Like, you put them in the room, like, he he's going to destroy yeah. not only her, but, like, quite a few people on and that's, there. And that's no disrespect to Nicki Minaj None. because she belongs on this list. I thoroughly believe she belongs on this list, and I also say... That she belongs higher on this list. You think so? I believe she belongs higher on this list. Because Ghost and Ray and Red and Killer Mike, they they should be higher right. as well. Right. Yeah. Because a lot of these guys don't even belong. <laughs> they don't yeah. even belong. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I think she belongs higher on this list. So don't feel like I'm taking a shot at her. Mm-hmm. But Fab will eat... Most of the cats a, a on this of, list. A lot of, a lot of, a lot Most of, of the cats on this they list. They shouldn't be. They shouldn't be right there. That's like nah. they're on on par with each, with each nah. other right there. Like nah. that's just, dude. I mean, did y'all hear the fabulous and, and kiss album? Is Jada even on this? Oh, okay. Oh, he he's on it. On he's on it. He better be. You know on what I'm saying? But you know, All right above features, he was killing. right above camera. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, or, or I'm sorry, right below camera. Right below cam. Right below camera. And y'all can't believe that Kendrick is that much better than J. Cole. I'm sorry. 
Y'all can't, he can't really believe that Kendrick Lamar is that much better. You know how I feel about Kendrick Lamar. Right. And, and a lot of people I, and disagree. I, I love a Kendrick people, Lamar. A lot of people disagree with me. I love Kendrick Lamar. My thinking Lamar. on that. For, to me, Kendrick Lamar is, is good. It's undeniable that the dude is talented and can rap. Mm-hmm. But I think he benefits off of so many of this younger little rappers that like he just benefits. Like he looks like a titan. You know what I'm saying? In a, in a, in a room full of... He looks like a, a bull room. in a china shop right there. That's what he looked like. Yeah. You know what I mean? To me. You know what I mean? And I said, it's not taken away from him and stuff, but it's just like... And I I had a, a crazy argument back and forth in the comment section with somebody, you know, a while ago over that. And I was just like, if Kendrick was rapping in 98, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he'd be a regular dude. I, I honestly he'd believe... He'd be a regular dude. I'm a, I'm a, I'm going I'm to give you something. I think that he's way more talented than we even know. And I'm saying to, I'm saying that to say that um, because of the climate, he's bringing it down. I feel like he's bringing it down a little bit because of the climate. I feel like if you did put him in that era, not to say that he would be besting anybody, yeah. but if you did put him in that era where bars and content right. really meant something... His stuff would be off the charts. Like, I think his stuff would be way better than what it sounds like right now. I think he still tries to leave a little bit of accessibility for the fan of the little rappers. You know what I'm saying? That's a problem for me, man. Hell with that, man. You got to go all the way in, man. Yeah. Go all I mean, the way I in. agree. It's crazy. I agree. But, I mean, overall, I think probably the biggest thing is that maybe 50 is not enough. And see, we were talking about it. Like right. it's just, it's just too many talented icons. It's too it's, many. That's a fact. Too that's many fact. people out there. Because if you just, like I said, it's crazy to me that Lupe Fiasco was not in anybody's top fifty. Right. That that's crazy to me. But if I say, yo, Lupe Fiasco belongs on there, and I convince somebody to say, yeah, he should be on there, and it's like, okay, we only have fifty. Who are you taking off of here? Right. You know what I mean? And once right. you take somebody off. Somebody's pissed. Yeah, somebody's pissed. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's right. pissed. But Luke, like, how many people are listen, getting that listen. mad if Luke is not? Listen, you, you know, put a hundred. You could put a hundred. Luke would still not be on here. <laughs> wow, <laughs> he man. would still not. There would need to be a really, really long list that included, you know, pretty much everybody that had a spot for everybody. Man. That's how it would include yeah. include Luke on there. Well, I guess ain't nobody else. MC Hammer would be on the same list with Luke. That's a good point. He would be on yeah. the same list with Luke. Yeah. <laughs> and Vanilla MC Ice. Hammer, and Vanilla, Vanilla Ice, Ice on there. Yeah. That's that list. That's, that's, a, that's good, a whole other list. That's that's a good point. Man. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that's how we feel about it, man. Jump down in that comment section, man. Let us know how you Let feel. Know, man. Go ahead and call us a whole bunch of haters because I know what's coming. I don't care. <laughs> I know what's coming. I don't coming. care. It's all good. We that's, a, that's, to- the beauty, that's the beauty of of hip hop, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you're, we're never ever gonna be able to come with a concrete five, ten, fifty. Like, you can't do it. Same right. thing with basketball. Because it's gonna be like you just can't do it. Nobody's gonna agree. Right, you can't. Well, not everybody is going to right. agree to. Right, you can't. One list. They had there was a, a Bleacher Report did a top fifty basketball players of all time. Allen Iris is not on the list. You know what I'm saying? They did not put Allen Iris. Just crazy. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? They put James Harden. You know what I'm saying? He's still actively playing. He like, didn't put AI? Like, Allen Iverson is in the NBA Hall of Fame. talking about changed the game. Average, like, 26, like, six assists. You know what I mean? Like, all-star game They MVPs, came up with rules because of, of him. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to be like Michael Jordan, but I'm too small. I couldn't... You know right. what I mean, I couldn't emulate. So I couldn't next? copy. I couldn't copy what Michael Jordan was doing. So who's none next? of us could. You know what I'm saying? None of us was over six feet. Right. None of us. Like I couldn't do it. Allen Iverson came and doing stuff like, "Yo, that's why Steph Curry is so popular now because right. he a little dude and he's shooting threes. I mean, compared to the other NBA players, he's still way taller than me. You know what I mean? But Allen <laughs> Iverson, I could look Allen Iverson in the eye. And this guy went to the NBA Finals. Took the six. His the the next best player he had was Eric Snow. Eric Snow. He's not on the list. Straight garbage. You know what I'm saying? He's not on the list. <laughs> so it's just it's always subjective. It's just like you know. But for hip hop, maybe just fifty is not enough. Let's let's get out of this whole mindset that 
if we dislike something or if we express our uh, 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 our opinions, you know what I mean? We're hating. We're automatically hating yeah. because if we get if we get into that mindset as a whole, then everybody's just gonna put out trash and know yeah. that everybody loves it. And you just can't have an opinion. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you just can't have you an just, opinion. If you can't have an opinion if yeah. you can't think contrary to somebody else. Yeah. Then we're just all sheep. Then. Right. You know what I mean? We're just all right. following whatever trend was put out there, and that's that. Nobody's right. bucking the system. Like, let's get away from that. You know what right. I mean? We're expressing our opinions. I don't feel like Uncle Luke will make it in my top 300, and that's right. just my opinion. Somebody right. else can feel like he's number one. Kill yourself, but you can feel like that. You, can, probably you, know, you, can, you can feel free to feel that way. Yeah. That's, it's fine. It's yeah. fine. This is our opinion, and we're sticking to it. You yes. know what I mean? So jump down in the comment section, flame us up like we know you're going to do. Yeah, that uh, is, it's man. all good. Let's that go. Is, no, talk to us. Up. We always talk back. All right. uh, and like we always say, without you, there is no two, man. We all right. out of here.